Time for Chart Attack, where we show you a chart that will make you smarter. Hopefully, it'll make you a little bit of money as well. And we're talking about Facebook. This stock has been on a tear for the eighth day in a row. It's making another post IPO high. Back to where it started. What an incredible trip it has been. All right, Andrew Keene, our closer, in from Chicago, here in New York, in the house, in studio. Um, Talk to us about Facebook and how you're playing it with the options. Yeah, Facebook is unbelievable. If you looked at how it is on earnings, it was only implying about a dollar sixty move, and then you know it just took off. It's back to the IPO price. We've seen it making another all-time high, thirty-eight fifty-one. It's very, very hard for me to want to short the stock because the momentum is so strong. But I think there's overhead supply here. A lot of people that have been in the stock for a very long time and lost money want to get out. As we look at the stock right now at thirty-eight dollars, it's the exact IPO price. It doesn't seem like it can break through this IPO price. I think it's headed lower. I don't want to short the stock, so I bought some puts for next week. I already took, uh, sold half of them out, so my trade is buying the 37 and a half puts for next week. I can do this for about 60 cents, so my break even is around 36.90. If I see it starting to roll over, I might spread them out to okay, a further month. What's your promise for it heading lower? It's because people want to get out. They're like, okay, I got to We are all back. on social media, as we know, right? Twitter, love it. LinkedIn, amazing. I don't use Facebook. I don't sign in Facebook. I don't know people, many people that like Facebook anymore. Yeah, they had good they've mobile. Got a, but they've got 1.2 billion Do you know how many of those are fake? around the world. Do you know how many are fake? Uh, maybe 30%, according to some yeah, estimates. But as again, low as 8%, though. Hard to quantify. You know, they are, they are doing, you know, I, they're not doing anything as right. If you look at a chart of LinkedIn, LinkedIn is very strong on earnings, a new all time high almost every day. You know, I think there's this overhead supply for Facebook. I don't like Facebook as a company. I think they're going to have mo they're going to have to compete against Google. There's a company I wouldn't want to compete against. It's Amazon and Google, okay? Well, what's the next Facebook that? I mean, remember MySpace? That well, Twitter, I think yeah, right. I think a, Twitter's I think it? a lot of people are moving off Facebook and moving on to Twitter. But I think Twitter's a, so much more public, right? I mean, and I mean, it's, Facebook it's a lot more professional control. and Facebook's a lot more, you know, um, you know, if you look at it, I, I would I I use Facebook for pleasure. Yeah. I use uh, Twitter for business. Well, then you still, I mean, you still use now, it for pleasure. Me. I mean, for, for, for social yeah. connections. Oh, I still use it, absolutely. Yeah. But you, you think that's going these, away? These TV, ad, TV ads, I don't know really how they're going to sell them. They're, looking, they're asking for, you know, Super Bowl like pricing. On yeah, two and a half million dollars. One to two and a half million dollars. If they can generate revenue from that, it's a whole different story. But I don't think they're going to be that many companies that are going to willing to pay for this because a lot of the users are fake. You know, a lot of people are on Facebook. Well, you're, you're, the you're alleging. Thing, you are alleging. Right. That the users but the generation are. thing is, as we say, Twitter and LinkedIn is more for a professional, right? A professional is going to have more money than someone who's 16 years old. So trying to sell. Yeah, but you know, if you can get the 16 year old. I mean, hooked on something, and, and you got them for the brand, next however many yeah. decades. And right. their PE, you know, is obviously you can't look at PE on all these social media stocks. You look at Yelp. Yelp's up from 40 to 60 in two days. I mean, that's incredible. You know, Facebook's the only thing on a chart. As it gets to 38, I think there's overhead supply. Today's the first day in seven days it didn't trade 100 million shares on the earnings so report. So it's about getting tired. It's getting tired, exhausted. I'm not saying mm -hmm. aggressively short Facebook because I think it's going to go down to 20 dollars. I'm just saying on a risk versus reward basis, I could see it hitting 33 before 40 and a half. Um, you mentioned LinkedIn. Trish is an influencer on LinkedIn, I one swear. of 100 people. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, the whole work? idea is, is well, every month I, I write a piece for them, as do 99 other. Uh, influencers and it's about keeping people on the site because you, you've got to provide some kind of content for them to, right. to be looking at other in addition to, to the networking so you're putting content on so LinkedIn. I'm putting content and they're getting it uh, from from myself uh, from 99 other people um, and you know I don't know Andrea is this is this enough do you think to sort of keep people on the site longer as opposed to going to something well, like Facebook. Well, LinkedIn, for a professional point of view, ha is amazing. There's a LinkedIn premium that m not many people know about. If you look at how many emails you get in a day, I can't imagine how many emails you get 300, 200, 400 emails in a day. But if you buy LinkedIn premium, which is, I think, is around $70 a month, you can email people and network with them a lot quicker and a lot better. I like LinkedIn's well, business model a lot which better. Which, at, at an all time